Good morning, children. How are you today? I hope you are feeling amazing no matter what, because today we are going to worship God and listen to his word. Agree? Uh, thank you to all who said yes and those who didn't respond. I know what is your problem. Have you brushed your teeth yet? <laughs> Oops, sorry, just kidding. Okay, let's prepare our heart and start this Sunday school with a prayer, shall we? Please fold your hands and close your eyes. Are you ready? Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you for this wonderful day. As we worship you in our homes, Please give us listening ears and teachable hearts to receive your word. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Now, let's worship God by singing the song that tells us that before God created the world, the trees, the animals, God thought of us. Let us open our mouths and sing together to praise God. Shall we? Praise the Lord. Thank you, God, for you have taught us even before you created us. Please help us to return your love for us by trusting and obeying you. Amen. Now it is time for a Bible story. We will be learning from the book of Genesis in the Bible about the creation of the first man and woman. Our great, 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 great grandparents. Oh, well, you know what I mean. So, are you ready to listen the word to the word of God? Please listen carefully. The Bible tells us that God made the heavens and the earth. God just spoke His word, and all are created. God made day and night. He made the sun, moon, and stars. He made the water and the land, the fish and all the birds. And God made all kinds of plants, and he made all the animals that move about on the land. But God's work of creating was not yet finished. God made a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into him. And the man became a living person. God named the man Adam. And God brought all the animals he had made to Adam so that he could name them. As the animals came by, we can imagine Adam looking closely at the wonderful birds and their clever wings, strong forest animals that could run and leap, animals that quietly nibbled grass and small creatures that crept along the ground. Adam named them all. but. As he looked around, he did not find another person, no friend or helper for Adam, could he found among the creatures God had made. You see, 
God made Adam very different from the animals. The Bible tells us that God created man in his own image. When God made the first man, he not only gave him a body, he gave man a soul that would last forever. God gave him a heart that would love God and a mind that would think about God and choose to serve God. No creature, Adam, so was able to do these things. God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. So God caused Adam to fall into a deep sleep. While Adam slept, God removed one of his ribs and then closed up the skin at the place where he took the rib. God used the rib to make a woman. God created her in his image too. God gave her a body and he gave her a soul that would live forever. God gave her a heart that would love God and a mind that would think about him and choose to serve God. God brought the woman to Adam. How glad Adam was when he saw her. Now, Adam would not be alone anymore. God had given him a wife, someone who would be his close friend and helper. Adam named her Eve. God blessed Adam and Eve and gave them the job of ruling over the earth and all living things. God provided food for them and a big perfect garden for a home. Now, Adam and Eve were to serve God by caring for his creation and raising a family. When God looked at all that he had made, he was very pleased. He saw that it was all very good. All right, let us review but the Bible story, kids. The Bible teaches us that we are created in his image and likeness, in God's image, that is. We have a body and a soul. So even when our bodies die, the soul of God's children will live with him forever. Now, because we all have sinned, we need Jesus, our Savior, to save us and give us faith to trust and obey him, to love and serve him. Do you all agree that we are an amazing creation of God? Yes, we are. Let's memorize this first, shall we? Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. Psalm 100, verse 3a. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. Psalm 100, verse 3a. Now, let us review our catechism. Who made you? God. What else did God make? God made all things. Why did God make you and all things? For his own glory. How can you glorify God? By loving him and doing what he commands. Why ought you to glorify God? Because he made me and takes care of me. Let's close our eyes and pray. Dear Lord, thank you for creating us as your image and likeness. Help us to be your good children that live according to your love and truth. Help us to also take care of this beautiful world that you have entrusted to us. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let's praise God with the doxology.
my children. Have a great week ahead. Don't forget to enjoy and care for the world and love the people that God has placed around us. See you next time. Us.